I had a project that I was doing on a school newspaper. The teacher asked me what did I wanted to write about. And I, uh, it came up to my mind that I wanted to write about the boys to men. Because I feel that I feel that it's a good thing and people should know about it. Boys to Men is a youth group. Boys to Men is about teaching youth how to respect towards one another. Boys to Men members are talking about things that are deep down in our hearts. We have also done service projects such as serving food and a homeless shelter. We also have fun. The Boys to Men Junior Youth Group meets every week at the home of Yvonne and Jamal Billingsley. The Billingsleys live in Cleveland. Their neighborhood is known as Mount Pleasant. They share a home with Yvonne's brother, Mario, and a lively home it is. Boys to Men meets on Wednesdays. There's a devotional gathering on Thursday. Friday is fun night. There's a junior youth group for girls on Saturday morning and on Sundays, a children's class. Everybody in the Cleveland Cluster has a commitment of what they want to do, and this has just turned out to be ours, working with youth. Meanwhile, a block away, their neighbor Norma is also busy. Can you give me something to do? And Abdul Baha said, oh yes, I have something that I really don't have time to do and I would like you to do it. I have a devotional meeting on Thursdays, the first and third Thursdays. We have the children's classes on Saturday and on Tuesdays I tutor book four of the Rui Institute. It might sound like a hectic roster of events, but the Mount Pleasant Baha'is are weaving together a strong support system for their neighborhood, one thread at a time. Every effort leads to another. I had a virtues class one summer in 2007. Some of the boys that attended that virtues class went to Jamal for the junior youth program, and that program grew. The program grew to such a point that we needed a children's class to take care of the children who were sisters or brothers of uh, these young men, and so here we are. For the Baha'is in Mount Pleasant, the commitment to neighborhood community building is a personal one. Because we live in a pretty rough neighborhood. This is, you know, probably named the worst neighborhood of Cleveland. When we got together and kind of felt that there was a need in the community to kind of bring the guys in and, and help them as much as we can, not just our core activities, but as a commitment uh, to the community itself. We started off easily with 12, 12 or 15 boys. Off the bat, right, just like that. The boys and their mentors shaped the group together. They came up with their name, developed their code of conduct. Speak to one another in a kind way, uh, do things for one another when they're in need and stuff. And created space for everyone to share their thoughts and feelings. We talk about how we feel in the inside that stuff that we don't want to tell other people. It's like what we usually say, whatever, whatever stays in Vegas stays in Vegas. So whatever, whatever you talk about here stays here? Yep. For boys in Mount Pleasant, opening up is not an easy thing to do. Coming up in this area, it's, it's hard to express your feelings without being looked at as weak. Uh, some of the guys here, they've seen like people get shot, they've come out on their way to school and see that, you know, there's someone actually dead on the street. And, they come back and explain how they felt about that, and we, we kind of try to talk through it to make sure that, you know, everybody's okay. When the, when the guy got shot, I had came to Mr. Mario and was telling him everything that happened. And so then he was up there giving me some, some ideas on, like, how to feel, because I was feeling real bad, because I seen the dude who shot him. And you knew him too, right? Yeah. I knew the person, I knew, like, he was my own family. And, and one of the keys is to, to let them know and feel that they're, they don't have to go through that by themselves, you know. So, you know, if you're hurting, you know, we let them know that it's okay, you know. You, if you feel like crying, it's okay. You know, those things are, are natural things. So we, we try to stress to them that they have a, a support system, not only with us, but with their family. 
During Boys to Men's first year, Jamal and Mario got to know the boys' parents. They learned that the parents wanted a mentorship program for their daughters and their younger children too. So a girls' group got started. They're called Independent Ladies. The Independent Ladies meet on Saturday mornings in the Billingsley home. At the same time, younger kids head to Norma's house for children's classes. I am enjoying it so much. The challenge basically has been of the older children wanting to come to this class. And I'm saying, whoa, wait a minute, you're 12 years old. You're supposed to be in the other class. And they're saying, well, we just want to come. And so I let them come, and it works out. I hope we can plant the ideas in these children that will save their lives, that will give them the knowledge base to look at drugs, gangs, and prostitution and say, that's not for me. I, I would like our community to stop killing people and get together, stop the gang banging. I hope everybody get their dream. That's what I hope this class will do.